Good morning. My name is Ben Alexander. I've been in the power and generation business since 2017. And in this video, I'd like to talk about the difference between the General Motors Vehicle to Grid program and the Tesla Powerwall 3. Now, it just so happens that I've sold multiple Powerwall 3 systems to solar clients. So I know a lot about it. And when the sales rep called me today about using my brand new Chevy Blazer to power my house, I had a lot of good questions. I'm going to share what I learned in that conversation with my audience. So first of all, Tesla Powerwall 3 came out in April of 2024. Very popular system. Everyone knows the Tesla brand, um, even though lately it's kind of taken a black eye. The Tesla Powerwall 3 is a solid product. It has a 13.5 kilowatt hour battery. So that's typically enough to get you to the next day. Uh, 13 and a half kilowatt hours, comparatively speaking. Your house, my house, uses about 50 kilowatt hours a day. Smaller homes use 40. Homes that have hot tubs and swimming pools and are fancy, they can use 60 or 70 kilowatt hours a day. So 13 and a half kilowatt hours in Tesla Powerwall 3, it's, um, it, I'm just going to use the word adequate because it'll get you the next morning. Now, most people with the Tesla Powerwall 3, they have it paired with rooftop solar. I also have solar in my house. Right now, it's a grid-tied system. I have no battery. So here's, here's, the, here's the base comparison. You can get the General Motors vehicle-to-grid technology installed for around $12,000. You can get a Tesla Powerwall 3 for a little more than that. This is the main difference. And by the way, I haven't had it done yet. As I get it installed, I'll make a video about that. The General Motors vehicle to grid is going to use the 85 kilowatt hour battery in my car. But the Tesla Powerwall 3 is 13 and a half kilowatt hours. So the other thing, <laughs> yeah, I just realized this. Let's say, for instance, I'm out of power for a couple days and my solar is not recharging this enough. I can take this somewhere to a fast charger, get a full charge, then come home and power my house. That's interesting, right? You can't do that with a Tesla Powerwall 3, it's bolted to the wall. So I'm gonna say that right now, as I'm recording this in May of 2025, the General Motors vehicle to grid technology beats the Tesla Powerwall 3 hands down. Don't get me wrong, I think the Powerwall 3 is a great product for the times. It was a great product for April of 2024, but I think GM right now is way ahead of them. Tell me what you think in the comments. Have a blessed day.